what's up guys welcome back to the green light got a special video for you guys today it's the for honor beta this is my first day on the beta as you can see i'm customizing my shield there and i did it pretty fast i thought it took longer for it to do that but i guess i have it on a time lapse so it's going pretty fast right now guys just first off so far the game is just absolutely amazing okay i didn't get a chance to play that much i work at a tax office so this time of the year i'm strapped for time i pretty much get maybe like two hours of free time a day and that's between my girlfriend and working so that gives me like about one hour to play i really just enjoyed this beta as much as i could i'm so hyped for this game guys i'm so hyped for this game right now you don't even understand it right now you see me going through the tutorial um pretty much just getting equating with the game is pretty easy to get started with i mean it's pretty straightforward i like the blocking system i like the guarding system basically you hold down l2 and your right stick uh, determines where you're gonna guard yourself at so there's three points you can guard yourself the top left and right side so basically if someone's swinging at you from the left you guard your left side so you'll block that automatically so there's no block button per se but you know that's basically how it is so i believe there are three different modes to play dominion which is what you're about to see right now you can go capture zones and then in a minute you'll see me going out with my henchmen in front of me pushing the lines and stuff like that there are the 1v1 duels which i have some coming up for you guys i will be commentating those so look out for those guys those are gonna be really fun uh, I'm, I'm taking this seriously guys okay like i love 1v1s in games to me 1v1 is the ultimate display of skill okay in this game so far i feel like it's pretty balanced you know i mean i can't just go and speak for its balance i've only played like an hour or two three four hours or whatever but so far it just seems like skill overcomes whatever else they might put in the game hopefully the gear and stuff doesn't get in the way of the integrity of the game and we get to display our skill like for real for real because I, i'm loving it guys i'm loving this aspect of the game right here 1v1 duels that's where it's at and that's what i will be playing mostly i will be doing the minions and death matches all the time because i want to you know push my faction shit which you guys will learn about this game is cross platform what yes you heard that correctly cross platform pc ps4 xbox one we'll be able to play together which is just unheard of okay i had no idea about this until i got in the game and i was about to play some multiplayer well it's the only thing you play during the beta but i was about to play some multiplayer and they gave us this video explaining you know how the factions work how it's a breathing living world where territory is constantly being challenged by each faction coming up in a second here i'm going to show you guys the video that same video that i saw i'm actually going to watch it right now myself because i didn't really get it all when i first saw it and i didn't know how to go back and look at it so you guys are going to get a fresh look at it if you didn't get a chance to look at the beta or play the beta strap in guys uh, learn a little bit about the multiplayer right now guys just get ready this is gonna be amazing light up those green lights light up those green candles guys then let's get the energy flowing in the room for honor is where it's at best game 2017 i'm calling it right now let's get it the faction war is a persistent cross-platform conflict between the knights vikings and samurai the faction you've pledged allegiance to determines who you'll fight for in the faction war but doesn't stop you from playing any available hero. The Faction War englobes all multiplayer and bot activities. After each match, you will be awarded war assets based on your personal performance. You can deploy war assets to help conquer an enemy territory or defend one of yours against opposing factions. On a global level, the Faction War is divided into territory updates, rounds, and seasons. Territory updates occur every six hours, while rounds last two weeks, and seasons last ten weeks. For each territory update, the faction with the most war assets on a specific territory controls it. The world map will display the new faction control territories and move the different fronts. Fronts will define which map you will play on. A map that was controlled by the knights and is now controlled by the samurai will have many visible changes. At the end of each round, Players who participated will get a reward, depending on the rank of their faction in that round. Once the season ends, everyone will get rewards depending on the rank of their faction. At the end of each season, the faction war is reset and will resume after an off-season period. The world will forever be impacted by what happened in the previous seasons of For Honor. <laughs> 